if you really want to create a stronger Wisconsin, it's not through a tax cut. It's not through promising $3 billion to a, a, a foreign corporation that may or may not come here. It's through strong public schools. In the past couple of budget cycles where Governor Walker has cut, 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 if anything, we should be restoring record amounts of money back to K-12 public education. We favor empowering local decisions, and the most local of all decision is at the family level. So regardless of whether it's a public school, a charter school, or God forbid, from your perspective, a choice school, we want to give parents the opportunity to make the, those decisions. The cumulative loss of three budgets of state aid and that one cut in 2011 amounted to almost a billion dollars lost in state aid, especially when you consider inflation. And that's why the amount that Republicans will offer today, while they may say is high, remains below roughly what it would be from a decade ago. Let's call a spade a spade. We hear not at the beginning of the budget process, at the end. You can say what you want, but you put our kids dag near last. Now, this isn't a unicorns and lollipop kind of thing. This is what we as legislators on both sides of the aisle are supposed to be doing. This should be our first official charge of business. We're not doing that. Governor Walker hasn't done that. I, he was giddy cutting public schools in his first couple of budgets. Just giddy. And look at what I did to them, that damn teachers union. You paint the teachers as being individuals who we don't respect and value, and that is absolutely untrue. I mean, come on. We value teachers. I'm sick of this victimizing teachers. And I just want to set the record straight. Let's, let's agree that education is all of our priority. I think sometimes your message takes, is taken seriously by some people because we don't speak up and say, that's not right. And I'm tired of it.